A 4th of July fishing trip out of Orange Beach. We got a very early start, uh, starting a little bit before dawn to help beat the heat and the storms. All right, Pop, how we feeling today? All right, we're heading out to out of Orange Beach, Perdido Pass, and through under the bridge, and we're about to go on a little bit of rougher water, so hopefully we can catch some snapper before. The run to the south was pretty easy. Weighs maybe a, a foot and a half. We went to a spot we'd caught fish before, and it was nice. Uh, started catching snapper pretty quickly. I think that one will go in the box. We had a new fisherman on the boat, uh, Gus. So Gus was looking forward to cranking in some fish, and sure enough, he got a few to, to start on. Keep going. Shark on him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Back up. Uh, yeah, back up. Hey, shark on this. Yeah. Go, go, go. Gus, work that. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Tension, tension. That's it, Gus. Doing good. <sighs> One of the spots we wanted to fish had a storm on it when we started. But eventually it, the storm rained itself out, so we went to that spot and it really uh, turned out pretty good for us to start with. One time we had uh, three fish on at one time. All right, Carl's got one. Keep going, guys. Ben's got one. I don't know if Ben's big enough. We've got to measure. Yeah, it is. All right, keep going there. Better one? Yeah, you got to be the first mate, Ben. Okay. Right. Get you some right. that time. Not terrible. Nice one. That's great. Way to go, Ben. Nice fish. Looks like there's another oh. another one in the slot there. Bring it on up here. You can get that one by yourself, can't you? You want me some help? Got it. Oh, that's a good one. Ben's got. Yes, sir. Gus has got one on too. I heard him go. Maybe there's got two two fish on. All right, Gus, make go for it, man. He's pulling drag, isn't he? Oh, then things uh, didn't work out as well. The, the sharks found us. Man up, man up, man up, come on. Let's go. You gonna hold the rod up for you? Nope. Man up on this, baby. Come on. There you go. Gus is fishing with a uh, reel that has 50 pound braid on it. And you can see they're not even moving the shark with the 50 pound braid and the drag all the way down on the reel. Come on, reel. Reel here. Reel that thing. Reel it. Yeah, it's just drag. You got it, you got it. Reel that thing. Bite that fish. God dang! This is. I might have an amber jack. Oh, no, his head's shaking. It's gonna be a huge snapper here, Gus. I'm holding it up for you again. We're working. Come on, work that. Don't let him work you. There you go. Oh, let's go. Mm -hmm. You're good. Keep going, keep going. All right, up. He's full of drag. Start. <laughs> Dang. Eventually the shark broke the line above the leader, so we decided to move to another spot. Let me go in reverse. Let's go. Feel that thing. We can switch off. You don't want to switch off here? No switch off? Okay. Maybe, huh? 
Are y'all feeling the fish at all? Yeah, I'm pulling it up. Shaking. And I'm pulling it up. Carl's moving the boat, so it's making it easier. Yeah, yeah, that's a fish. By this time of the morning, storms had really started popping up. There was a large storm between us and the pass. So we headed west to try to stay out of the wind and the heavy seas. We fished a few spots to the west uh, and to the north. Caught a lot of fish, but uh, none of them were within the slot. So we just came on in, had a great day on the 4th of July. Coming back in around noon on the 4th of July. Had a good trip. We feel blessed. We were able to celebrate the 4th of July with a fishing trip in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico.